So a bit of a follow-up to the uh, rudder use in Acro. Uh, I've now put the um, PIDs, the PIFs, and the rate back to the default INAV, not the preset, but the sort of the default aeroplane INAV settings. And we'll see what happens in angle mode, in uh, 3D cruise, uh, all of that sort of stuff. And I'll tell you what I've learned about Acro. All right, so you'll see, trying to do a bank and yank with Acro, and I think we'll find well, it's actually going okay. I'm not touching rudder. I bet the rudder is sort of counteracting the turn. And that's the way Acro is meant to fly. So if I do a coordinated turn, rudder, ailerons and elevator. That's the way Acro is meant to be used. Acro doesn't ex understand bank and yank on a plane that has rudder. It thinks if you leave the rudder stick in the middle, that's exactly what you want. You want no yaw. Acro means acrobatic. It is designed with acrobatic flyers in mind and that comes from the uh, multi-rotor roots, of course. So you can see there, I'm using the rudder to actually help the turn, and that turns nicely. I'll do a bank and yank turn next, and it kind of resists the turn. Because it assumes you want to do a knife edge. Acrobatic flying, you want each axis independent, apparently. Acro is designed for acrobatic pilots not just cruising around like we would where you do a bank and yank you know you would uh, assume the plane is going to your and because you're but because you're not putting any your input in it assumes you don't want any your here it is look at that that's almost going into a knife edge add a bit of rudder and it all sorts itself out all right so let's do altitude hold, altitude hold. Now I'm using the rudder, and that's not doing anything now. Back to Acro. Oh, I'm really low on battery, unfortunately. All right, let's put another battery in anyway. angle mode. There's rudder, I'm manually doing rudder there. Back to acro mode. You'll notice I have acro and not air in the OSD. It's because I haven't got air mode turned on, I don't need that. It's only for planes that uh, don't glide very well on zero throttle. I'll do a return to home just to see what the default values to get up high. Higher. Return to launch. Return to launch. Should climb up to 50 metres. And there's that. Whoa, that is nearly lost it there out over the reeds. That's having too much rudder feed forward. It's a separate issue to the flying in Acro. That is just too much rudder action assisting the return to home. Let's drop that down a bit so we're a bit safer. And also the default rates for rudder are way too high. What plane can do a full yaw in a second and a half. I'm going to put it down to 50. There we go. And I bet our return to home turns and position hold turns will be much nicer. So let's go into a 
return to home or a position hold and see what happens now with that amount of rubber. Turn to launch, that's a nicer turn, still quite a bit, <clears throat> but it's not overshooting too much, a little bit. Oh, it's wiggling a bit. Rubber is obviously acting. Alright. Loiter mode. Loiter mode. Loitering nicely though. Still overacting a little bit, maybe. Just doing a bank and yank now. Rudder will be reacting a little bit, I guess, but not persistently. So anyway, the message is Acro Mode doesn't understand bank and yank flying if you've got a rudder included in the mix. Of course it's going to be okay with a wing or a plane that doesn't have rudder, or even a V-tail because V-tail rudders are pretty ineffective. Remember in Acro, you have to use the rudder if you want the plane to turn nicely, or you can give up your stabilisation, put the P and the I down to zero, then it's just like a normal bank and yank plane, basically. And for feed forward, make sure you don't overdo it, basically. Have a look at the amount of throws on the rudder and uh, keep it very small. And you won't overshoot in return to home and uh, position hold. See you later.